everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul video for you all. I have this box in my room where I generally place things that I recently bought just to haul so I can haul it and then start using it. And the box kind of got very full very fast. So yeah, if you want to see the box, it's on my lap. If you can see that without all the stuff tipping out of it. So I'm just going to start pulling things out of the top. Um, I picked up the VO5 Smoothly Does It Shampoo. I only buy shampoo, I don't buy conditioner. I don't know, I'm really weird like that. VO5 was half price at Priceline some time ago, so I thought I'd pick up a few things. So, yeah. And what does this even smell like? It just has a, like, basic VO5 smell. Also from VO5, as it's on top, I picked up the VO5 Ultimate Hold 5 Vital, Ven Vital Benefits Hairspray, which is weather resistant. So that's interesting. And what's this funky piece of hair doing? Okay, last two VO5 products. I bought their Give Me Texture Instant Oomph Powder. It's basically like a texturizing powder that you spread, like place in your roots and it gives you volume. I haven't used these before, so I definitely wanted to give it a try at half price. And also the VO5 Miracle Mist. This is basically their leave-in conditioner. I really like the smell of this. It's super sweet, but it can be a little bit sickening at times. So yeah. Okay, heat protectant. The Tresemme Heat Protectant. I've been using the red one, the keratin one, but I feel like it's too thick for the nozzle, so it sprays like really, really thick and not like a fine mist like this one does. So I thought I'd go back to this one because I really like this one. Okay, La Roche Posay. I haven't tried this brand before, so I thought that I'd pick up a few things considering it was on a little bit of a discount. Um, this is their Dermo Cleanser. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that word, but it's their Dermo Cleanser, kind of like a cleansing milk. I really want to do a first impression on this, so we'll see how that goes. Also from La Roche-Posay, I picked up their Extreme Fluid, which is an SPF 50 base, which you shake up. It has a little shaker in it, and you basically just pour it out onto your hand. It's like a super liquidy formula, like super liquidy, and it's just like a UV base, basically. So, yeah, I've been loving this so far. Alright guys, don't kill me. I know I have a lot of foundation and a lot of powder in this video. I'm sorry. <laughs> but whatever. I picked up a high-end foundation. This one I've been wanting to try for a little while now. I'll definitely do a first impressions on this, as I probably will with all these foundations. But this is the YSL Touche de Clare foundation. The bottle is so luxurious, guys. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try this. I'm so, so, so excited. And I bought mine in the shade V10. And I also picked up the Lancome La Base Pro Primer. I was using the MAC Primer for a little bit, but I am not a fan of that, so I wanted to pick up a new one. So that's what the bottle looks like. I got it for 10% off, which is great. So super excited to use that one. I picked up another Simple Kind of Skin Makeup White Duo Pack. Love these, and they were 20% off, which is even better. And I also picked up a simple toner because this is my favorite toner and I use it every single day. Caramello Koalas. They are my weakness. Like, oh, like I bought two packs and I ate a full bag at work. Like 12 little Caramello Koalas. Like they are so yum that I'm going to eat one now. Okay, so I picked up the Sally Hansen Nail Polish Remover. This is just the pink one. It says it's strengthening for weak, thin nails. I definitely have weak, thin nails. Hence, another product that I'm going to show you in a minute. But yeah, this is just my favorite nail polish remover. It just removes your nail polish so fast, and I love it. Okay, so I picked up the OPI Nail Envy Base Coat thing. Um, this is a repurchase for me. I used to use the matte one, but they were sold out of that, so I just bought the original one. Yeah. Um, you can get this from David Jones or Maya. I bought mine from Maya. One of the last skincare items, I picked up the Garnier Micellular Cleansing Water. I did a first impressions of this. I'll link it down below. Basically, I just really, really like this stuff. It's really, really good. I bought a deodorant because, well, everyone needs deodorant. And I just bought the Rexona Women Clinical Protection Antiperspirant Deodorant. Deodorant? 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 Yeah, 
And this is the one that you apply at night time and it just works really, really good. And this is a repurchase for me. Okay, so I was at work one day and I just had super, super dry skin. So I needed to pick up a moisturizer. So I ended up picking up the Nivea Hand Cream Pure and Natural 95% Ingredients of Natural Origin Hand Cream. I don't know why I picked up a hand cream when I needed it for my arms, but it did the job and yeah. Okay, so I bought two MAC lipsticks. I bought the shade Please Me and I bought the shade Chatterbox. Please Me just looks like this and Chatterbox just looks like this. Okay, from ASOS I picked up two items because they were on a really, really good deal. Um, I picked up the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This was about $4.05 when I bought it, so I definitely had to pick it up. It was a great deal. Um, I've only used it a few times, so I can't really tell you how I feel about it, but so far, so good. And I also picked up the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. I've used this a few times now. I even think I filmed the first impressions. If I have, I'll link it down below. And yeah, I really, really like this so far. Okay, guys. So the last few products are from the price line, 40% off sale off cosmetics. Um, me and my friend Fran, I'll list her channel down below. It's always linked down below. Um, we had a full like tactic. It was basically where I would check my price line, she would check her price line, and we'll get all our wish list stuff, um, which actually turned out quite well. I literally got to my price line at 8.30 when doors opened and it was empty. I was like, what? Where's all the stuff? Like, they had like a few things, but they didn't have like nearly as much as they normally had. So anyway, I texted Brown. I was like, oh man, they don't have anything, whatever, whatever. I went to work, um, so on and so forth. And then she finished uni, she went to price line and she was like, they have our stuff. And I was like, oh my God. So let me just tell you what those are. She was kind enough to pick up the Max Factor Face Bindi All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation in the shade Crystal Beige for me. I have filmed a first impression. I am wearing it right now. Um, yeah. Super happy that I was able to pick that up because generally this is like 30-ish dollars. I was like, so yeah. So happy to pick that up on sale. And then she also was able to pick up the Australis for Law Lips in the shade NYC for me. So, so grateful. I've been wanting this shade forever and yeah, super happy that I now have it. And she also was able to pick up the Australis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder. I've been wanting this powder for a while, but then like what sold me on it was I see my lovely friend Jackie here on YouTube. I'll link her channel down below. She used it in one of her recent Get Ready With Me's and I was like, I need that in powder in my life. So, Fran came to the rescue and was able to source it for me. So, thank you so much, Fran. And then, at the end of the day, when I was coming home from work, um, I decided to just stop in at the price line to see if there was anything that I would want to impulse buy. And basically, I was able to find the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Foundation, the shade N1, which I'm hoping is my shade. Um, yeah, I've been wanting this for a while and... I wasn't going to buy it at the sale, but I seen it for 40% off, so I thought I would just pick it up. And then this was a, definitely an impulse buy, but this is the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder, and there's 30 grams of product in this, which I think is great. And it was the last one on display, so I thought that I would just pick it up, because it's only like $13 full price anyway, so it came down to like $7, so I just thought that was such a good deal, so I thought I had to pick that up also. But yeah, so... That's the end of my haul, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too, too long. And, yeah, I just want to thank my friend Fran again. Thank you so much for picking up those products for me. It honestly means so, so much to me. And, yeah, she, she's just the most amazing friend. So, yeah. <laughs> and if you haven't checked out her blog, go check it out. It's always in the info bar down below. And, yeah, so I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.